Casey with eMarts. Welcome to our instructional series channel. Today I'll be showing you our 8x8 backdrop stand, which includes two backdrop support stands, two crossbars, one carrying case, two spring clamps, and four backdrop clips. There are many features to this wonderful piece of equipment, such as high quality aluminum alloy, which provides stability and strong support. It's also lightweight, compact, portable, and it's very easy to assemble and set up, and also to disassemble. So let me show you how. So this is our backdrop support stand. We'll pull out the legs so that they're level, and then we'll secure it by tightening to the right. There we go. And we'll do the other. I just push out with my fingers, and then pull up from the bottom until it's just about level. There we go. And then I'll tighten again to the right. These stands can go from three feet to five and eight. I'm going to loosen these by taking them to the left. Here's our five feet option. And I'll secure it by moving it to the right. I'll loosen this by moving it to the left. Up we go, and then tightening to the right. Very good. And so now we'll remove the wing nuts from the top of our stands. We do this by moving them to the left. And there we are. To the left, to the left, and here we go. And next for our two crossbars. You'll find in your box two pieces. You'll notice on one end there'll be a singular hole and then you can turn it on the other side and there'll be a larger opening. This larger opening is what will be secured to your screw. But first let's connect the bars. Making sure that both of the opening holes are on the outside of my bars, you'll see the inside here comes down to a point. I've got a silver bracket and I also have a single hole. What I'll do is just push down on the spring lock bracket and there we are. This is also adjustable so that you can accommodate still the three, five, or eight foot capacity. But right now, I'll just be putting it on our five foot capacity with the smaller hole facing towards the ceiling and the larger one down on the screw. I'll fasten this with our wing nut right after I get this large hole on the bottom, smaller hole on top. Applying our two wing nuts, I'm simply gonna rotate it clockwise in that right direction until it's securely fastened. There we have it. We also have our clamps and our backdrop clips. I love backdrop clips. They're so helpful and they come in handy because nobody really likes a wrinkly backdrop, do we? It's very hard to edit out. So this is how we assemble our backdrop clips. I'm gonna open the Velcro facet and as tightly as possible, I'm going to go around with the Velcro around the stand. Here we are to the sticky part. I'll just fasten that closed. This also offers a nice leather finish for a matte look. Here, I would attach the backdrop. However, I want a little bit more length. So let me just squeeze down and lengthen that. Now I have the clamps to attach a muslin or canvas backdrop. And then here are our backdrop clips. Please leave any comments or questions you have below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you'll check out our next episode. Thanks for visiting eMarts. We'll see you next time.